Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatback Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and tricks for learning your very own video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this stroke effect, which you can track to any moving object. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so over in After Effects, I've created a new composition with my clip in here. And what I wanna do here is highlight this road as the shot's moving. So first I'm gonna select my clip we're gonna come up to animation and then down to track and mocker AE. Okay, so here I'm just gonna give my project a name. I can choose where I want to save it. Make sure that my frame rate matches my clip and then hit okay. Now over in mocker, I need to define the road or the part of the shot that I actually want to highlight. So instead of using the XBlind tool, I'm actually gonna use my Bezier tool. And what I'm going to do is start to draw a mask that sits right down the center of my road here. Now when I reach the edge of my screen here, all I'm going to do is just draw a rough mask that links up with the start of my mask. Then I'm gonna come down here and adjust my track settings. Now I can set this to around 50% because not much is actually changing in the shot. And because it's from a bird's eye view, I know that my mask is not gonna slip around too much. So 50% will be fine. And I'm just gonna leave these also at their default. Then I'm gonna start my track. Okay, now my track is finished. I can just go through and make any fine tune adjustments where my track might have slipped but I'm really just trying to keep this line in the center of my road. Now I'm also just gonna hit this cog button here and that just tells Mocker that we don't wanna make any more changes as far as tracking to that layer. Then I'm going to select my Bezier tool and create another layer, which again follows on from where we left off. And I'm also gonna come down here and I want to draw a line that goes around the outside of this building. Then I'm gonna start tracking backwards. And I've noticed that this mask down here has actually slipped during the track. So I can just readjust this by fine tuning the points and that's automatically gonna create a keyframe that will animate my other keyframes here. So I'm just moving along, making sure that track sits nicely and that looks pretty good. and so does this other track up here. Okay, so I'm happy with all those tracks now. Now I can select one of my layers. I'm gonna come down here and I wanna export the shape data. So I'm gonna select that and I wanna make sure that all layers are selected. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard and then we can close Mocker. It'll then ask if we wanna save and hit save. Okay, so now we're back in After Effects. Now the first thing I wanna do here is actually take my layer and duplicate it turn off this background layer here. And with my playhead at the very start, which is really important, I'm gonna come up and then paste Mocha Mask. And then we get this. So at the moment it doesn't look like too much, but then I'm gonna select my layer, come up to Effect, down to Generate, and I wanna add the Stroke Effect. Here I can select which mask I actually wanna to apply it to. So my layer one was this first layer that we created. So I'm gonna select that. I'm then gonna turn up the brush size and you can start to see that we start to get the stroke effect happening over the top. Now at this point, I'm gonna turn on the background layer and now we can really start to see this stroke. I'm gonna turn up the brush hardness and of course we don't want this part of the mask to be shown in the stroke. We only want to animate this part which is actually on the road. So because we started here, I'm actually just gonna drag the end so it finishes on the last point on the road. I'm gonna create a keyframe there. I'm gonna move along probably the three second mark here. And then I'm gonna navigate down here under effects and create another keyframe for that stroke end. Come back to the start and drag this even further back to the start. Now if I actually play through that, you can see that we've got an animated line that follows our road. Now if I wanted, I could just hit T on the keyboard and drop the opacity, and that's gonna make that line slightly more transparent. The other thing that I could do is also come up here and drag this spacing up, and that's gonna create a dotted line. So now when our layer gets to the end here, what I'm gonna do is hit U on the keyboard to bring up that keyframe. I'm then gonna grab my stroke layer and duplicate it again. But for this one, I wanna select layer two. 
And if I come down to the stroke two settings, I can then delete this first keyframe, create another keyframe at the end here, and then drag this back to zero. So as that line comes up, it'll continue on to that next line. Now to adjust the timing difference, all I have to do is just adjust these closer to the end. And that's going to slow down my first line and speed up my final line. And there we go. So we've got our line moving throughout our scene. Now the other thing I can do here is I also created a mask around the house. So I can duplicate that stroke layer again. I can then change this to be layer three and then readjust the size accordingly. The other thing I can do is actually even change the color So now I've got a red highlight that goes around the outside of my house. So there you go guys, there's a really interesting stroke effect you can create using Mocha and After Effects. I hope you've learned something and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.